five. I got someone walking out the driveway towards me. And it shows both officers, uh, Lieutenant Murphy first, arriving on scene when he did, saving lives, I believe, because of when he got there. What happened, as you saw, was I came over the top of the hill, and from that distance, you'll see in the tape there, I could just see a white glimpse. Mr. Page was dressed with black fatigues on and a white T-shirt, and I saw that gentleman turn and start walking towards me, and that's when I do my radio transmission. What I had done is I come up to the top of the hill, you'll see me back up. The reason that I backed up is because our squad has a locking mechanism in it that you have to sequence two buttons in order to get the uh, rifle lock out. So I backed up, accessed my rifle, and then pulled back in. Went through the checklist that we trained for for law enforcement. I had. Uh, he had a weapon, he had an intent, he had a delivery system. I went through those, I knew I had those factors. I had a target, I acquired it, I isolated it. We were in uh, occlusion mode where, okay, no other things would work. It wouldn't be advisable for me to use a taser to try to OC this gentleman. It was time to use deadly force, which I was privileged to do at that time. Yes, he was in a parking lot of a church. There were other people around. There's a theory that we have called greater danger theory that it's better to take the shot and even if you miss and may strike a bystander to stop that threat that's going there. From what we've seen now already, we know that he was on a mission to cause havoc. He had to be stopped and that's why I decided to shoot at that time. They believe that they were shooting at them, shooting at other citizens, so they took the... Uh... And we train for this. I'm very fortunate to be in a department that trains monthly, probably more than other departments do around the state. and. Maybe that's the reason he picked here. He didn't know that, but uh, we were fortunate in the training that we have here at Oak Creek. It's uh, above and beyond what many departments do.